you've tried to buy ammo in the past few months, you realize that there is a hysteria of ammo buying across the country. Places that traditionally carried a lot of ammo have been just completely bone dry, except for many of the hunting rounds. But most of your self-defense rounds, your 9mm, your 40, your 45 ACP, uh, even 38 specials, 357s, rifle ammo, 223, 556, and 762 by 39, 308 are pretty much all but non-existent. 22 long rifle, forget about it. That's some of the hardest stuff to find. And why, I'm still not sure. But I have been seeing some relief, and I'm not really sure if it's because the ammo companies have really ramped up and are able to produce a lot more ammunition, or if because the assault weapons ban has been somewhat defeated, that we're able now to see some ammunition and people are starting to relax just a little bit. In fact, last night I was in my local Walmart and bought these three boxes. In fact, that's all they would let me buy. And I got it for $5.27 for 20 rounds. Even though this stuff is the steel case Russian tool ammo, it's still a great buy and it's ammo in my hand. But what was really great is they had quite a few other calibers there. 9mm, 40, 45 of course, and 762 by 39 It was really nice to see that. And part of the reason was because they had had a big pallet come in and that morning they filled up their case and they were filling it back up that evening. So I just happened to be there at the right time. Now a lot of people feel like there's price gouging because the prices are up. But to be honest with you, it's pretty much supply and demand. If people want it and they're willing to pay, then people are going to be there to sell it. And one way to look at it is many of the local gun shops and your businesses aren't able to stock. They're not even able to order a lot of this stuff. So when they get it, they really need to make a little more money because they don't have the stock to sell. And this pays the rent and it pays their bills. But we're starting to see a loosening up of a little bit of ammunition in different places. I was at a local Academy Sports last night. And while they didn't really have a lot of other ammunition rather than just hunting ammunition and shotgun shells, a buddy of mine was there that morning and they had 8,000 rounds of 223. Of course, by the time he got around to it, it was all sold. But we can see that ammunition is starting to come available. Now, a lot of people, for the first time, are buying their first gun. And so they're out buying, they're looking for ammunition, and it's very discouraging not to be able to have ammunition for especially a brand new shooter. But to give you guys some hope, I just recently picked up this 6,000 rounds. Half of it's 223, the other half is 9mm. And there's a guy that reloads ammunition, and he was finally able to get the components he needed to fill this order. It was great to be able to get a good quantity of ammunition to be able to shoot. But again, components have been difficult to get a hold of. Many people that want to start reloading, you can't get primers, you can't get powder, you can't even get brass or bullets. So these things are starting to loosen up somewhat. So I would highly recommend that once it does loosen up, it'd be a great time to start reloading. And of course, here's some more ammunition that I just got in. And this is from one of the suppliers that I use. And it was just great to be able to get this ammunition to be able to shoot. Because obviously, fun gun reviews are hard to do without ammunition. I'm going to give you four things that I recommend that you do to keep yourself from being in this situation in the future. The first thing is, is the places that you buy ammunition, whether it's your local gun shop, Walmart, or Academy Sports, find out from the employees when the orders for ammunition come in, when their deliveries appear. And then you're ready to be there. I know at Academy Sports, they get deliveries three times a week. And if you're there early, and I mean, some people are there hour, two hours before the store opens. They even have started handing out numbers. And when you go in, you can usually find the ammunition you need. A good buddy of mine just bought a good bit of 22 ammunition, which is almost impossible to find in our area. So having a little bit of knowledge and being able to take a little time and to be there early will be a big reward. Number two is to make sure if you haven't already to establish yourself at some gun shop, a place that you like to buy firearms, you like to buy ammunition and accessories, that you just go in sometimes and hang out and see what they have new. Build a first name relationship with those guys and when they get products in, that's a great way to be able to find things that they'll hold for you. They can call you and say, hey man, we have some PMAGs that have just come in. We have some 9mm that's just come in. And they'll even hold it back for you and you can run by there and pick it up. Number three is to get on a back order. Go ahead and place your orders. If you're online, I know Midway is really good about this. Putting your order in, getting it for a good price, and then when it comes in stock, they'll go ahead and send it to you, and so you're getting a good price. The thing is, you're gonna have to wait a little bit, but if you can't find it, you're waiting anyway. 
So go ahead, place your order. They typically don't charge your credit card until it comes in, and then you have the items you need. Now number four, a lot of times when I go to websites and I'm looking for stuff, it'll say out of stock. But below that, it'll say notify me when it's available. And so go ahead and hit that notify. And then when they get in touch with you, especially if you have a smartphone and you can get that notification, be ready to buy as soon as possible. Because a lot of times when that notification comes in, they sell those products really quickly. Buying a little bit of ammunition just as you go along really builds up your stock in no time. Over the years, I've been doing that. Anytime I go by Walmart, I'll run into the back, grab a box of 22, grab a box of 12 gauge, or some of my defensive pistol calibers, or just whatever ammunition I need, and grab a box here and there. Now, one of the big advantages of that is that when you want to go shooting, you have the ammunition already in stock. It's a great way to build up your inventory. One of the things that really struck me is when all this started happening, all this hysteria, I had a decent amount of ammunition already put back. So I really wasn't desperate to find ammunition. But as I was going into Walmart or Academy Sport or wherever I was going, I was seeing desperate people left and right. It was like they were a deer in headlights and they just had no idea what to do. Now in the future, as ammo becomes more available, I would highly recommend that you have a minimum. If you've got a minimum stock of ammunition put back, then you're not gonna be in a panic state. Yeah, we can always buy a little extra ammunition to shoot and have it on hand but having a good minimum base and what I want to recommend is that you have at least a thousand rounds of each handgun caliber and a thousand rounds of each rifle caliber and about 500 rounds of shotgun now while a lot of people might think that's kind of like excessive if you are concerned about survival if you're a prepper and that's what this channel is about that really needs to be your minimum goal and that way you're self-sufficient in your ammo and it's going to be one less thing you have to worry about. My grandparents lived through the Depression, and if you knew people that were living during the Depression, you know that they would put back things that were scarce during the Depression years. And so it's the same thing with ammo. If you know that there is a possibility of it being scarce, there's no reason to get caught with your pants down. I always try to keep a little extra cash on hand. Whenever I come up on a really good buy, I'm able to buy it whether it's a handgun, rifle shotgun, or ammunition, magazines, accessories. Having that money set aside is a great way to be able to enjoy the shooting sports and also have your self-defense uh, set up ready to go at all times. Because to be honest with you, survival and self-defense are the main reason that I have firearms. Now guys, keep the pressure on your legislators, whether it's in your state or your federal legislators, senators, congressmen, Keep the pressure on. Let them know no new gun laws, no new restrictions. I don't care how it sounds because those who would rather have security over liberty deserve neither. And remind them that November's coming, guys, and that if they don't watch out, they're going to find themselves unemployed. The Second Amendment is not something to play around with. It's not something that is just passing. This is a basic constitutional right, and we need to fight to keep it. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Guys, this is the sight of freedom. Let freedom ring.